Hey everyone, Jeff Sorry from The Practical Drummer here. I want to show you, I've shown you symmetric modulation, taking the, for instance, playing paradiddles in triplets in 4-4 when you're, when I'm playing just a regular eighth note groove. If I now go into triplets using paradiddles, it accents the three over four, right? Two, here we go. So I'm in an original tempo, okay? And I keep the original tempo going with the left foot, but now I've got this slowed down paradiddle groove going that is sounds very odd, okay? But what I wanna show you in this video is if I actually lose the left foot when I go into this three over four, I can make that new slower tempo its own tempo, right? So we can slow a uh, part of a song down and that would be pretty cool. So once you get command of this, you, once you get the slow tempo going, you can lose the paradiddles and just play in that slow tempo and create any kind of groove you want. Here it is. So I'll do that actually. I'll get into this paradiddle groove and I'll lose the quarter note. Then you'll see me pick back the quarter note up on the slower tempo. So now I'm gonna click it in the slower tempo, not the original, okay? So the original is this, three, four, and then it's gonna be, it's gonna slow down. It's gonna, it's gonna be the three over four, but I'm gonna lose the original and just go with that three over four as the new slow tempo, okay? Here we go. One, See that? So I lost the original tempo and I went with that slower, slowed down triplet feel using paradiddles and triplets, but I used that as the new tempo, okay? So you saw how it slowed down. And once I have the pulse in my head, I can then pick the quarter note back up on that pulse and then just start jamming out, okay? But I wanna get back to the original, okay? And so in order to get back to the original, we have to flip it, we have to use the four over three or the dotted eighth note. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E. Okay, there's the original tempo. So if I'm in the slower tempo, one, two, I'm gonna click this, one E and a two. There's the original tempo. So here's the thing, when, we're play when you're playing in the slower tempo, got to feel that four over three for a couple hits and go right into it okay so again I'm gonna lose the the left foot in the slower tempo now and focus now on this four over three instead of doing a four over three in in that slower tempo that would be kind of fun but I'm gonna let go of the, the slow tempo and now I'm gonna use the four over three as the because it's actually the original tempo as quarter notes okay here it is again, the slow tempo. There's the original tempo, okay? So I went from slow to faster. So I'm gonna put this together for you. I'm gonna play uh, a couple measures of straight, of the original tempo, 4-4. Four, four. I'm gonna slow it down. Okay, then you're gonna, so it's accented three over four, but it's the new tempo. Then I'm gonna take that tempo, then I'm gonna get back to the original by using the four over three. There it is, okay? And hopefully I can pull it off on live TV. <laughs> so let's try this out. And you could use this to great effect with your band. You and the bass player can hit some accents and make that the new tempo. Uh, you know what you're doing, and the rest of the band can go with you, okay? Here it is. One, two.
Okay, so again, I'm just playing around with this, but this concept you can take to the bank. In an original sprite tempo, use the four over three to slow it down. Take that as the new tempo, okay? Then to get back, use the four over three, and that is your original tempo, okay? So try that out, think it through, practice it, uh, internalize it, fumble the ball, break some sticks, you know, whatever you gotta do. So uh, post a comment, share this video. I'd love to hear how it goes in your band uh, situation. Take care.